of Jeannie and the Jerry Lewis Show will not be seen tonight. Instead, the following very, very special program is brought to you in lively black and white on NBC. Chiamami mio marito. Signor Eros. 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 Senti, ti chiama tua moglie. Chi se ne frega? Lasciami. Probing the unknown reaches of space. Star Trek. Coming to Fridays this fall on NBC. It's here, the Disco Body Shaper, the brand new exerciser sensation that's sweeping the country. This is the fastest, easiest way yet to trim and tone up your whole body. Just a few minutes a day with the Disco Body Shaper is all it takes to produce amazing results. Simply follow the Disco Body Shaper plan, and before you know it, you'll see unwanted inches begin to shrink before your very eyes. Flab will start to turn into healthy, beautifully firm tissue. Just imagine what this will do for your operation arms, back, bust, buttocks, problem areas that nothing seems to help. But beware of plastic imitations. Only the genuine Disco Body Shaper is made of steel. Send for yours today. You'll get results or your money back. Potetino! Eccomi, Ciccia! Ben dove ti hai ricacciato? È un'ora che ti cerco. <laughs> Ciccia! My Dream of Genie moves to Tuesdays this fall on NBC. Ethel Merman stars in Irving Berlin's fabulous Annie Get Your Gun, a 90-minute special, Sunday at 8.30, 7.30 Central Time on NBC. Thank you. Thank you very much, and good morning. Different stroke for different folk. I'm going to tell you what I'm talking about. You can dig it. Now, I don't want no gold box for working 50 years from now. Sunday of NBC Week ignites with the big adventure of Bonanza. Begin a brand new season at the Ponderosa with the Cartwrights. Then it's time to contemplate all the beautiful things in the world, to consider its many magnificent works of art especially the beautiful Phyllis Diller Show. Not just another pretty face. The beautiful Phyllis Diller Show happens Sunday during television's biggest week. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Che è successo? L'orso ha aggredito la sua signora. È morta. Ma? È morta! È morta, lo so! Non me la volete dire, ma è morta! Fatemela vedere! Ciccia! Voglio vederla! Me l'ha uccisa! Ciccia! 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 Come avrà fatto a strangolare un orso? Povero Paradiso!
chiesa. Ma cosa si va a mettere con quella lì? Sergeant Joe Friday and Officer Bill Gannon in the all-true Dragnet 1967. What's all the racket about? It's about the champion of justice flying your way Monday. At 8.30, 7.30 Central Time, it's the premiere of Captain Nice. It's the man who flies like an eagle. My mistake. It's a nut in his underwear. That's no ordinary nut, son. That's Captain Nice. I'm going to close my eyes now. You are? Yes. Both of them? Both. to the daring exploits of Captain Nice, premiering Monday at 8.30, 7.30 Central Time, in color on NBC. Mi smuccio che aspetti? No, no. Finisci il cappuccino, Luciana. Vi andiamo. Solito albergo, solita camera. No, Eros, no. Mi dispiace. Sono venuta solamente per dirti che basta. È finita. Cosa? Dammi la sigaretta. Che mi dice, sfinita? Sì, sì, finita. Ti do un taglio, Ero, scusa. Ah, sì, eh? Sì, sì, soffrirò sei mesi, un anno, ma poi mi passerà. Mi faccio schifo, mi fa schifo tutto. Ah, sì, eh? Non si può continuare così. E poi perché? Con davanti che cosa? Ci fosse una speranza di niente. Sarà sempre così. Che dices? Sempre nascondersi, vedersi un oro ogni tanto alle 11 di mattina in una camera a ore che, che mi viene il vomito. O farmi sbattere sotto le gradinate proprio come una puttana da strada, vero? Luciana, te prego, non sei a svulgar. No, caro, no. Ragionerò male, sarò l'antica, magari, ma ho troppo rispetto per me stessa, sai, e non ce la faccio più. Se non lo capisci, oltre che egoista, sei anche un cretino. All sounds sound better when they're recorded on tape made by audio devices. Audio devices makes movies talk. We can't go on meeting like this. Audio devices... ...records geological explorations. Audio devices makes tape that records millions of facts and figures. Audio devices makes tape for data processing. They take a room full of information and record it on one little reel. Is audio devices tape better than other tapes? 
probably, because they've got a lot of people inspecting and inspecting and inspecting. It's amazing the things you can do with tape made by audio devices. What they do? They're smiling in your face all the time. They want to take your place, the backstabber. Merman stars in Irving Berlin's Annie Get Your Gun, Sunday at 8.30, 7.30 Central Time. See one of the most fabulous hits of the Broadway stage as a 90-minute special in color. The story of Annie Oakley, the pride of Buffalo Bill's Wild West show with Irving Berlin's most magic musical score, performed by a great Broadway cast headed by the one and only Ethel Merman. See Irving Berlin's Annie Get Your Gun in color Sunday at 8.30, 7.30 Central Time on NBC. And another great Broadway show comes to NBC. Damn Yankees, Saturday, April 8th. passa per la cavezza. Non te l'avrei detto mai, guarda. Ma questo egoista, questo cretino, ti dice una cosa sola. Paradiso. Never forget, never forget, never forget. Recall Patty Ho. Never forget. Oh, recall Patty Ho. Never forget. Recall Patty Ho, the uptight Patty Ho. The shape of your leg. Yeah. Recall the uptight hosiery yarn from Duplan. L'orso sono stato io a farlo inferocire. Ti è sembrato una cosa normale? Una bestia che mangiava in mano ai bambini, castrato, cresciuto insieme a Miriam come due fratelli, eh? Ma sarà impazzito? Sì, ma per la fame. Erano sei giorni che trovava il secchio vuoto. Sei stato tu? Hai capito? Hai capito adesso? Su, vieni, andiamo via. Muoviti. Herb Albert and the Tijuana Brass with Louis Armstrong are the first of many great stars on the Kraft Music Hall, Wednesday at this fall. I know it's hard. I don't know, man. Maybe I've been working too much. We're not communicating anymore. I've probably been treating her too hard. Probably. Uh, look, um, give her this for me, will you? Sit 
senti male? Ti lamenti? Morsito? Un po' di pesantezza. Ti pare il bicarbonato? Grazie, Stellino. Eccomi. È pronto? Non ne ho mica più bisogno. Battimi sulla schiena. Più forte? Era solo un pochino d'aria. Bevi. No, no. Bevi. No, grazie, non lo voglio. Un pochino, ti fa no. bene? Bevi. No, no. Un pochino. No. Mierda. Peros, caro, vieni su, vieni su dalla mamma, su. Mi vuoi bene? Listen, when you get Bob. This man is an NBC lighting director. He and his crew are lighting a studio for color. John, let me see the rainbow cube, please. Color television demands a rare combination of skills and years of experience. NBC technicians have both. They were doing color television while everyone else was still thinking black and white. No wonder that most people look for the extra beauty and excitement of living color created by NBC, the full color network. Today, no place under the sun is too far away for the miracle of color television. We got five camera positions for the... Eight. These NBC remote units are complete color broadcast centers on wheels. Everything is brand new, except the technicians. They're seasoned veterans, the same NBC crews who pioneered color television when some people said it couldn't be done. show me the fairway it'll be shooting so I can get an idea what... You're looking at it right now, V3. It doesn't even look like a fairway. These men may work a week on location to put one hour of color on the air. But then, it's the very best color. Brought to you by NBC, the full color network. Stand by. Five, four, three, two, one. Peacock's on. Irving Berlin's fabulous Annie Get Your Gun in Color, a 90-minute special with Broadway's most magic musical score, this Sunday. Luciana, querida. Yes. 
Te quiero. Me gustas. Te juro que la amaso. Signore, signori, entrino. Entrino a vedere il nostro straordinario spettacolo. Eh, Rossi, il mio latte. Sto pronto, Ciccia. Stotta! Sofia! Cos'è che fai lì così impalato? Su, tra poco comincia il nostro numero, tesoro. Sono pronto. Tropical color. See the full hour adventures of Tarzan starring Ron Ely. Friday at 7:30, 6:30 Central Time on NBC. This particular day he passed an area where there were lots of children playing. So he stopped for a moment just to stand there and watch them and enjoy the children. While standing there, he looked around and saw this one little boy sitting by himself. He looked like he might have hurt himself, so the old man thought he'd go over to see if he could give the kid a hand, you know? So he walked over and he said to the little boy, Well, hello there, son. Why are you sitting here all by yourself? Why aren't you playing with other children? They're having so much fun. Did you hurt yourself? Can I help you? And the little boy looked up at him and said, I'm all right, sir. I'm just sitting here resting for a minute because I'm tired myself. Because me and my friends, we come out every day and do the same old thing, you know? Shoot marbles, play all that kid stuff. And I'm tired of that. I want to be like my big brother, you know what I mean? And the old man said, No, son, what are you talking about? He said, well, see, mister, my big brother's cool. He drives them big, fine cars, keep pockets full of money, got all the girlfriends he want. But every time I start talking about it at home, my folks tell me to hush up because I don't know what I'm talking about because I'm too young and I got to grow up first. So I feel like if I keep playing these kid games, I ain't gonna never grow up, mister. And the old man said, well, son, you know, you got your whole life before you. Don't be in such a hurry to get old. You're gonna be old soon enough. He said, listen, let me tell you a story. Perhaps you'll understand what I mean a little bit better. So the little boy said to him, That's all right, sir, but to make you feel any better to get it off your chest, you can go right ahead. But personally, I don't want to hear it, you understand? I want to grow up, can't you understand that? The old man said, son, let me tell you something. He said, what? He said, when I was 17, it was a very good year. A very good year for small town girls and soft summer nights. We would hide 
from the lights on the village green. Oh, that's when I was 17. When I was 17, when that old man was 21, it was a very good year. A very good year for big city girls who lived up the stairs. With all of that perfume had, sometimes it came undone. That's when it was 21. When that old man was 21, they were some very good years, yeah. Very good year for blue-blooded girls of independent means. And they would ride in limousines. The chauffeurs would drive when he was 35. When he was 35. But now those days grow short. He's in the autumn of the years. Now he thinks of his life as vintage wine from fine old cakes. From the brim to the dress, it poured sweet and clear. It was a very good year. It was a very good year. It was a very good year. They were very good. Very good. Yeah. As the old man walked away from the little boy, he said, I'm gonna see you later, son. Now you take it easy here. The little boy said, all right, Bob. So as he eased on down the way, there were these two fellows that were sitting not far from where he had been talking to the kid. One of them happened to look up and see the old man as he passed, you know. So he hit his butt and said, hey, my man, check. There's old folks, old Charlie. That old dude's back on the scene again, ain't he? Hmm. Looking good like he should, though. Still taking care of his business every day, too. That old cat's growing old gracefully. That's what's happening, ain't it, man? His partner said, yeah, man. So you know what somebody laid on me the other day? He said, what? He said, everyone knows him as old folks. Titino, ho dovuto correre, capito? Ma ti senti bene? Benissimo, non ti preoccupare, sto benone. Sai, mi sentivo un po' ingombri in questi giorni, ma adesso sto proprio bene. Andiamo. Non senti niente, sicuro? Sicurissimo. I've got a couple of questions I'd like to ask you. I'd like to answer them, sir. <laughs> Miller, how come you shot 18 people in the last three weeks? I don't know, sir. Just lucky, I guess. No, 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 no that, that's not what I meant. No, sir, I mean I was lucky to be in the right place at the right time, sir. Eighteen times in three weeks? Yes, I've never done so well. <laughs> well, maybe if we get down to some specifics, you yes, know? Yes, sir. You can clarify a few points for yes, me? Yes, sir. Uh, here's one here. This is a little old lady was walking a uh, dog on Main Street, mm -hmm. and you shot her? Yes, sir. <laughs> What for, Miller? I first noticed the suspect jaywalking across Main Street. I called upon her to halt. She failed to do so, so I fired a warning shot through her liver. <laughs>
Sunday mornings on NBC. Starting at 10, 9 Central and Pacific Time, enjoy the excitingly different game show, Snap Judgment, with Ed McMahon. Next, NBC's longest-running daytime game program, Concentration, with host Hugh Down. Then, sit back and relax with an informal half-hour of music and variety with Pat Boone. Next, Tic-Tac-Toe was never like this. It's the lively celebrity fun show, The Hollywood Squares, hosted by Peter Marshall. Followed by Art Fleming with the fast-paced question-and-answer game, Jeopardy! Then, at 12.30, 11.30 Central and Pacific Time, test your powers of observation with Bill Cullen on I Guess. See them all. Weekday mornings on NBC. Pues aquí hay un bel tipo. <laughs> si vorrebbe togliere questo capriccio, eh, ragioniere. Porco! Cuccia! Mi scusi un momento. Quanto è giovane? Cuccia. Today, friends, I come to you from a carton of Coca-Cola. So refreshing. <laughs> All right, roll them. Now, you'll see how you can win a trip to Disneyland for your whole family. You'll stay at the famous Disneyland Hotel and use a Hilton car while you're there. And then, you big shot, you, <laughs> you get the VIP tour of Disneyland. And there's more. For three days and two nights, you'll tour Southern California. Then, fly the friendly skies of United via United Airlines 747 jet to Hawaii. For five days and four nights, you'll see all the splendor of the islands. Oh boy, <laughs> it's the grand prize in the getaway to Disneyland sweepstakes sponsored by your Coca-Cola butler. Look for details and other great prizes where you shop for Coke. So get away to Disneyland, friends, and take me with you! Tu sai perché non sono venuta oggi all'appuntamento? Perché sono andata dal dottore. Capito? Aspetto un bambino. Lucia, ma sta sicura? Ho fatto la prova del coniglio. Ora devi ammazzarla per forza, Eros. Io non voglio mettere al mondo un bastardo, uno spostato. Uno pieno di complessi. Mio figlio deve andare a fronte alta senza vergognarsi di sua madre. Gap with Provident Master Charge at Provident National Bank. Eros, stamattina è venuto il ragioniere, ha detto che la previdenza bisogna pagarla e la cassa malattie anche. So cosa vuole questa gente. È venuta qui a raccomandarsi di lavorare. <ride> e il fatto è che sono troppo generoso. I vostri beniamini Eros e Miriam sono ancora qui per puro miracolo. Non più di un'ora fa, a causa di una saturazione di gas avvenuta nella roulotte della signora Miriam, mentre la signora stava riposando per un'inavvertita mossa nell'accendere un fiammifero e godersi in pace una buona sigaretta, è avvenuta una mortale esplosione che ha mandato in aria l'abitazione della nostra coppia favorita. Per puro miracolo, la signora Miriam è in colume fra noi. Ma gli sfarzosi abiti della signora Miriam, le sue famose toilette parigine confezionate con metri e metri di preziosissima stoffa, le sue tre preziosissime pellicce formate da centinaia di marmotte e visoni, sono andate irrimediabilmente perdute. Ma la famiglia del circo, che ha già avuto altri sinistri, sempre capitati alla signora Miriam, organizza una culetta per venire incontro agli immediati bisogni.
Grazie. 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 Che vergogna. <ride> <laughs> Rowan and Martin had done it. They were suitably rewarded, and the king lived very happily ever after. So can you, with Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, Mondays at 8, 7 Central Time. Um, maybe I didn't tell it right. Convinciti. È come se tu volessi ammazzare Sandokan. Come fai ad ammazzare un elefante? Non riuscirebbe un uomo normale? Non si ammazza un elefante quando si è Lilliput. <totipo> the name George Burns. Right on? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Please, let me welcome him properly, and I want to really see you get it on for George. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. George Burns. tell you something, Wolfman Jack is a great name, because in show business, when you got that kind of a name, it's something you, you, can, you can grab a hold of, you know? I got a friend that's got a name like that, Benny Jack. <laughs> uh, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Now I'd like to bring back those three charming girls, uh, the, the honeycomb. I'd like to sing with those girls, the beautiful singers, girls. Okay, now let's do something together. Okay. Something pretty, but it's got to be in my key. Let me, let me, let me pick the song. He wants to sing. I want to sing. Let me pick the song. Now. You made me love you, I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it, didn't want to do it, didn't want to do it, didn't You wanna made do me want you, and all the time you knew it. All the time you knew it, all the time you knew it, all the time you knew it. You all made me happy sometimes, you made me sad. And there were times, dear, you made me feel so glad. So glad. So glad. So glad. You made me cry for so glad. So glad. You made me cry for and I didn't want to tell you. Didn't want to tell you. Didn't want to do it. Didn't want to do it. Tell you. Tell you. Do it. Do it. So glad. So glad. I want your love, that's true, yes I do, indeed I do, you know I do, are you ready? Yeah. Give me, give me, give me what I died for. Bye. 
You didn't want to do it, but you did. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.